Blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure SSH on a Cisco file. Okay, so basically SSH is just a method of remote access. When you want to log into this uh, firewall remotely, when you are far away from the data center or the server room where the firewall is located and you don't want to go there physically and uh, use console cable to log in. You can use protocols. For example, uh, there are web 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 portals. Uh, they are for for terminals. We can use uh, Telnet or SSH. So, being that Telnet is not secure, we are going to use SSH to remotely log in to this file. Okay, and that will happen in the inside network. Okay, so we're going to allow host in the inside network to remotely access the firewall okay all right so i'll just open our google spreadsheet and let you know that today number four firewall triple a plus ssh setup basically triple a is just uh, authentication authorization and audit okay all right so without any further ado let's just open our notepad to highlight the steps to follow to achieve the objective so uh we've been using this same topology to configure basic settings and we've been using the same topology to configure dsp and now i'm going to use the same topology to configure ssh and it's this same topology that we're going to use to configure all of the remaining things because fire firewall configuration is normally step by step what you do now is forming foundation of what you do next okay all right so it's just the same topology. Maybe in future we're going to add uh, more routers here to make it uh, uh, accommodate our requirements here. Okay. All right. So uh, under SSH configs, you can see the first step is to ensure that steps two and three under basic configuration are, are completed. Step two and step three include this one of which we did in the first video. Configure hostname, enable password, username and password, and uh, clock and date. Although clock and date are not necessary for uh, SSH, okay? All right. But for audit purpose, you know, it's very, very uh, necessary, okay? All right. So um, step three is to configure IP addresses, naming the interfaces, and giving the interfaces security levels. Very important. We did all that in the previous video. So if you watching this video now please before you proceed go back and start from video one this video is very short short okay maybe 10 minutes eight minutes okay or so that you can understand firewall configuration step by step i've i have divided this series of training into steps such that the first step is forming the foundation for the next step that next step is forming is forming the foundation for the other upcoming steps okay all right so uh, you can see step two here, ensure inside hosts can ping firewall. That's why we configured DSCP. Remember, in the previous video, we configured DSCP on this firewall to allocate host, uh, this host IPv4 addresses. And if you can just over, you can see uh, that has taken 103. So we are being required to ensure that the host, the inside host can ping the firewall. The firewall was, uh, huh, I can't remember, 192.168.100.1. So kindly watch the previous videos before you come to this one because you want to understand this one better. Maybe unless you're a pro or you've engaged in uh, Cisco SA firewall configuration, okay? All right. So that's done. All right. So step three here says that enable local triple a authentication for username to search onto sa okay Francisco, how do you do that how do you enable local uh, authentication using a, -A, -A, -A to the N ssh so we just go to the firewall that's where that's where ssh configuration begins the first thing we have to enable local authentication so how do you do that very very simple just go here and say uh -huh, a triple a authentication then you query okay you can see we're using how many protocols we can use ssh or telnet we just say ssh then it's query again then it's telling you 
specify console specify the keyword to identify server group okay just say console then you query again and you say local because you can see there it's saying that we enable local authentication for ssh so this is the first command a triple a i mean triple a authentication ssh console to through local okay so this basically means that we are going to use the local database which includes the username and the password that were created in the first phase okay here username and password here this is the local database that we're going to use username and password okay and you just hit enter all right then when we go back here you can see at uh, the fourth step says that we generate rsa key pair so this is where we generate crypto keys you know uh, uh, ssh uses uh, crypto keys okay so we just say crypto uh, key generate rsa rsa is just an uh, encryption algorithm asymmetric uh, encryption algorithm okay then you just say modulus length to be 1024 in this case let me just use 1024 okay hit enter and just say yes that's all okay all right then when you go back here define the subnets or ips which are allowed to ssh onto ac guys basically we said that we only want our inside network to log in into this the firewall here okay so here you can define just a group using all of this network or define specific ip addresses to use to i mean to remotely access this firewall so let's assume that maybe we add uh, departments here well this is just one of the departments there is another department so we only allow it department to remotely access the cisco firewall but as for now because it's just one block we just say uh -huh. how do i say it define subnet okay so here you say just say ssh and you query ssh then you give the range of ip before i mean the range to, i mean the network that is allowed to use to remotely access the firewall just say uh it's 102.168.100.0 solid mass of 255.255.255.0 then this applies to which interface the inside interface just say inside and you hit enter all right few commands then finally specify ssh timeout so here also we just say ssh timeout to be let's query uh let's say uh three minutes just now okay and we hit enter exit i mean not exit but write memory how to save in the firewall and that's all so basically just few commands guys few commands the first command the first command is to specify the triple a authentication to use the local database and you remember the local database are the username and the password that we created previously in the previous video okay after writing this one command then come and generate crypto keys using rsa which is a symmetric encryption algorithm okay that's the second command the third command now comes when you want to specify the subnet that is supposed to remotely access the firewall very simple and finally ssh timeout guys through that we've achieved ssh configuration on a cisco firewall so if i can just go here uh before that before that let me just go to the firewall and say uh show start uh, so you can see enable password is here it's encrypted then when you go down when you go down you can see the authentication here is using the local database for a search login okay then we have a username by the name gtech and the password i can remember it was gtech 123 please watch the previous videos if you didn't watch them okay all right so that's all that's all and you can now see about a search is here about a search is here a search to use only this subnet is allowed to remotely access and that subnet applies under the inside interface and 
SSH timeout to be that one, okay? All right, so let's just go to SSH. I go here and go to command prompt and say SSH iPhone L. That's not one, that's not I, it's L. Then GTEC was the uh, uh, username, okay? Local database. Then IP address of the file 102.168.100.1. And you log in. You can see we've been prompted for password. Then you just say GTEC. My password was GTEC123. Okay? Enable GTEC123. You can see we're now under the perimeter firewall. Okay? All right. Okay, so here we can perform several actions. For example, show start. Okay. You can see all of the configuration that we've been doing are now here. So that's how to configure SSH on a Cisco firewalls, firewall. Very, very simple. And uh, here also we specify that it's only the subnet that is allowed to remotely access the firewall. So instead of this firewall, let's say you want just a specific IP address to access that firewall. Let's say it was 192.168.100.10. You just write there. SSH 192, that one, that IP, okay? All right. So guys, basically, our objective have been achieved. So I'll mark that section as done. So when we meet next, let's still use the same topology and uh, maybe add some routers to achieve to achieve routing, uh, routing protocols, okay? OSPF and static routing protocol. Bye and see you again in the next video. Thank you.